tight squatchy. We will be going over object pronouns where the subject is not in control. So this is a diagram of our, the singular and the plural suffixes, this bullet. The meaning of each of the models here implies that the notion of manage to or finally, finally succeed in or accidentally. The subject is not in complete control of the situation, but does succeed. This is basically the non-control suffix. The, the schwa and x with the raised w drops when any other ending follows. So for example, quinanganu plus the, the u, your hooked and schwa or u, quinanganunga. The object ending meaning for me is ungas and for you it's unga. When the root word ends in n, the addition of the nu ending puts two n's together. These are usually pronounced as one long n sound, sometimes as one short n, but never as two separate n's. Showing you the word benang in us is grammatically, but not, but it's grammatical, but not often used. Usually the word for he helped him, it would be quinamenung. This form with a n schwa hooked n ending is different from the rest. It is actually a passive form and we'll cover that in a later section. The basic form sometimes changes with non-control endings. Compare this list with the list of transitive verbs in chapter 1.2. I'll read over this. Can you help me? You, you folks help me? And then you help us? That's not completely natural because it's um, yeah. because it's you yeah. manage to you manage to help but it's kind of us and then how about you plural help us I manage to help you and we help you and then um, I help you folks. And we help you folks. And then I managed to help him. And then we managed to help him. Uh, you managed to help him? And then you folks managed to help him? And then he helped him, or, yeah. And our chronology? 7.2. Chronology is chapter. Sun who yet hides a snuffed. Some of these end with na, while others end with nu. As a rule, if the basic transitive ends in schwa t with that stressed schwa, then the non control transitive will end with a, with a n stressed a and X with the raised W, the na. These words have ovalless roots. They're also called zero stems.
If you have any questions or comments, please email me at harmony.arakawa at elwa.org.